Hello. Hello. Welcome to Queers Gone By. My name is Kate Butch. And I'm Caitlin Powell. And this is the podcast where we talk about all of our childhood memories, TV, films, nostalgia, all that kind of thing, and ask, is this what made us queer? Today, we are discussing a very exciting television programme. Yes. It's got a banging theme tune. It's got an interesting concept. Mm -hmm. But first, shall we have a nostalgic snack? I think we should. And it's on theme. It's very exciting. It's a themed snack. Maybe you can guess from the snack. If you can't guess from the snack, try guess the rest of it. (laughs) ASMR, ASMR. ASMR, ASMR. Um, This, to describe it for you before we unveil, it's a purple bag. It's a purple bag. It's a purple bag. <laughs> uh, it's by Hawkers. 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 And there's an interesting fellow on the front. What a happy guy. What a fun guy. <laughs> but it could be a gal. We're not sure. Eyelashes. She's got eyelashes. She's got lashes. Yeah. She's got top and bottom lashes. Mm. Yes, queen. Um, it Queer is... icon. <laughs> Queer icon. Monster, Monster Munch. Munch. <laughs> it is the classic pickled onion flavour. Yeah. If you'd brought beef, I would have sent it home. <laughs> Imagine. Should we pop it open? Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Are they pungent? Give it a whiff. Oh my word, I love it. Oh. They... <laughs> that smells like nostalgia. That smells like nostalgia. When would you normally have a prink, uh, pickled onion monster munch? Um, from the vending machine around the corner at school. Fair enough. Should we have a... Yeah. If you, if you don't know what monster munch are, firstly, where have you been? Yeah. Oh, I read a thing recently about monster munch. So you know how it's meant to be, it looks like a paw yeah. print thing. Apparently, we're holding them upside down, and it's actually a monster, and it's got two feet and two arms. Are you that, like, religious lady who talks about monster drinks? Bottoms up. Bottoms and the devil up. laughs. <laughs> um, these, are they corn, it's a corn snack. A corn snack. A corn snack. Should we have a... Cheers. Should we rub them together? <laughs> like we did with our wafers. Rub your munches. Oh. Scrapey, scrapey. <laughs> ASMR. Mm. Right. Let's do it. Oh. oh, I'm such a fan. I'm a fan, but I remember them being more intense. You're disappointed. Because it's like with discos. Hmm. Maybe we just had tiny baby taste buds when we were young. That's probably it. Mm-hmm. Do you remember when Monster Munch did an ice cream flavour? Oh, that's upset me. <laughs> I remember those. I remember those at the swimming pool. The smell of chlorine and the taste of sure just... vanilla flavoured crisps. Are you sure it wasn't just some weird guy at the swimming pool? Oh, wait, the crisps were vanilla flavoured. Mm-hmm. I thought you were saying the ice cream was Monster Munch flavoured. Oh, God. No. <laughs> Pickled onion ice cream, yeah. Foul. No, Disgusting. ice cream flavoured Monster Munch. Oh. Because you can get beef ones, as I mentioned. And you can, can you get chilli ones? Yeah, but I don't think the next logical step is vanilla. <laughs> that's fair. That's, yeah. that's a fair I'm just offering a situation. critique. <laughs> um, should we put them away? Before, but, can I have one we, more? Yeah, we'll have one more. Okay. Don't want to be tempted. I'm just hungry. Um, yeah, if you don't want Monster Munch art, then get with it. Maybe they're an international listener. Um, we've got at least one listener in Belgium. Have we? Shout out to you Lovely. in Belgium. Let us know if you if you can get Monster Munch in your country. They've got a Poirot. <laughs> Isn't he... Oh, was that the joke? No, no I don't know. Okay. <laughs> there was no joke. Isn't just... he from Belgium? He's Belgian, and mm. they, they... I don't know. Don't know what I'm saying. Tell us what we watch. Oh... Instead of saying, well, it's going to be in the episode title, isn't it? Yeah. Um, basically, there's a nice normal girl. In an ordinary She's in world. an ordinary world. Um, show us your... Show, show us your face. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, People Luna. shout that at me from passing cars. <laughs> show us oh, your right, fangs. Show us your fangs. <laughs> like Lady Gaga, show me your teeth. I, I don't know that reference. Yeah, but, I'm sorry. You don't know Lady Gaga's... Hit Show song. us your tea. <laughs> Yay, Lady Gaga! Gaga. <laughs> you don't know the song Teeth by Lady Gaga? No. It's the sexiest song in the world. Okay. But... It's about it's about oral. Anyway, um Alright then. <laughs> At me. <laughs> I don't know a Lady Gaga song, sorry. We're running a queer podcast, Kate. Do you know the <laughs> off Broadway <laughs> musical The Fantastics? No, I have no, I don't. <laughs> See, different types of queer. Different types of queer. We're, we're variety, we're versatile. Both Leos. Metal. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> she, yeah, so she's a nice normal girl in the ordinary world. She has your fangs. Yeah, Mona. Mona. It's Mona the Vampire. It's Mona the Vampire. Life goes on like it's weird. And there's something, something feared. 
Uh, Show us your fangs. Show us your fangs. (laughs) Um, Alternative title I'd like to propose. Mona and two nerds who go along with her shit. (laughs) Like... (laughs) Mona and two nerds who go along with her shit, who share horrifying delusions. You thought Tracy Beaker was delusional. This is worse. (laughs) I also, this is horrifying. I remember her being an actual vampire. I was taken in by everything. Uh, Yep, I thought there was a hot... Yep, no. No, she's not a vampire. I think the reason I thought that is because her parents really indulge her nonsense. (laughs) See, so, yeah, now, where? Tracy Beaker comes from a broken home. Yeah. Tracy Beaker... This is uh, what happens if you give a child too much love. Mode of the Vampire is a product of privilege. Yeah. I said it. I stand by it. Yeah. It's a hill I will die on. <laughs> I won't lie to you. Um, I did watch it and I was a little bit disappointed. Yeah. I remember it being better than it was. Which is kind of similar to, like, um, My Parents Are Aliens. Yeah. Um... Glee Tracy even. Beaker no, held up. Tracy Beaker held up. Tra- As did Raven. Tracy Beaker, was, Tracy Beaker and Raven were better than what we're expecting. Yes. Um, this, this was upsetting. Um, also, I was sad. So, we we chose two episodes at random. Well, we like, typed it into YouTube and yeah, chose yeah, the first yeah. one. Absolutely. No, no, sorry. We chose a compilation. Oh, the two-hour a compilation. A two-hour compilation of Mona the Vampire, in case you're interested in watching a two-hour compilation of Mona the Vampire. Um, <laughs> and I was... They did the intro, and it's a it's a long intro. It's a long intro, but it is a banger. It is, but uh, in the intro they hint at the incessant bullying of the young redhead girl. <laughs> Where? There's the redhead girl, Angela. <laughs> I don't remember Angela. She right. There's a bit in the intro where she's sitting, minding her own business, reading a book, mm-hmm. and they pop up behind her and pull her face. Isn't she the babysitter? Maybe. And I think she's a robot. I think she's a snobby contemporary. Oh, well. (laughs) (laughs) We've all been there. Yeah. But okay, I didn't didn't see... I missed that bit. I was too busy jamming along to the song. I thought she was in every episode. I thought she was a main character. Oh, poor Angela. Yeah. She's not a nice normal girl in an ordinary world. She's a bitch. Show us your fangs. (laughs) Get your fangs out for the lads. (laughs) Get your fangs. Mount out a vampire. Grab your cat. And your cape. You know, the boogie man. Boogie man. <laughs> Has no escape. Um, yeah, it's, if you don't know the show, Mona the Vampire, basically there's a girl called Mona. She thinks she's a vampire. And <sighs> she sees everything around her as like a horror film. Or like yes. supernatural, supernatural. Yeah. extraterrestrial, those mm-hmm. kind of different things. And she has two friends, Lily and Charlie. Um, who, who are just there. They're just... Milk toast. Pardon? <laughs> Milk toast. So oh, yeah. Thing I okay, saw got it on you. the internet where they just bland people. Yeah. I think I'm using that correctly. Isn't it spelt like milk? Milk. Milk. <laughs> like French. M I L Q U E. I think in my head it's milky toast. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like your toast in the morning? Milky. <laughs> <laughs> and her friend Lily has an alter ego of Princess Giant. Uh, yeah. We're not sure why. Um, Lily seems thoroughly done with the whole situation, and I can imagine you would be if you were called <laughs> Princess Giant and you were just a regular sized person. <laughs> and, Body shaming. Yeah, and then Charlie is, it's not Ant Boy, but he does have antlers. No, what they call Antennae. Him? Antennae. <laughs> is Zap Man. Zap Man. I don't know what he does, I don't know what his power is. He has a he's, gun. He's got a gun. Which is, is this Canadian? Because she does say about. Does she? Yeah, and house. House. <laughs> house. Um, yeah, so maybe there is a comment on gun laws, I don't know. Maybe. But it's not American, so... There's a lot of commentary going on. There's, as we'll discuss there's later. There's a lot of something going on. Yeah. Um, right, so the episodes that we watched... Yeah. Is... They're only 15 minutes, maybe? Yeah, so we watched two. We thought we'd yeah. treat ourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, and boy, did we ever. The first one we watched was called Creature from the Depths. Spoiler alert, it's a big frog. <laughs> In fact... I did question this at the time. It may just be a regular size frog. I think you're right in that. Yeah, assessment. okay. Um, so basically it starts with um, Mona the vampire is at home in a mm-hmm. bathroom. Yeah. And there's a, a rumbly noise coming from the drain. Yeah. And she's like, well, obviously that's a creature from the Black yeah. Lagoon. Well, the bath is flooded and the dad is like, I don't know what could be causing this. And it's like, it's hair. <laughs> I've lived in a house with four girls. It's hair. It's fully hair. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and then we have a flashback. Yes. Which is qu- quite interesting. Yeah. Um, we go to Mona's life, Mona's childhood. Yeah. Uh, and she's got a 
Tadpole? She, well, she called it a polywog. And I thought... Isn't that a racist term? I was like, that's, that's a slur. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel a bit... Or a Pokemon. It's one or the other. A polyglot. What's that? Polyglot? Is that someone that knows everything? Po- oh, that sounds like it might be. Polywally doodle all the day. Do you remember that? No. Singing kettle. You're right. Do you know the singing kettle? I'm having a stroke. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a stroke, yeah. <laughs> you know the singing kettle? No. Oh my God. Nostalgia trip. It was these Scottish people that they sang a song. They sang lots of songs. The Crankies. <laughs> It's the Proclaimers. <laughs> um, no, there's a Scottish trio and they sing songs coming out from a kettle. And they sure, sing a song about Polly Wally Doodle. Anyway, we're getting off track. <laughs> but I'm going to make you watch that. Okay. There's a tadpole. A polywog. Yeah. It's called Polly. Classic. Polly the polywog. Polly. P- I thought it was Polly. So it was Polly initially and then she's like, Polly! But she's you not said Polly twice there. Po- Paul, I did an American it's accent. It's tricky, it's tricky. Well, Polly! I think she's Canadian, so... Well, okay, yeah. House. Um, speaking of the house... Yes. Oh, the flashback, anyway. Yes, flashback. Um, th- she has a bath. She forgets the polywog in the bath. Yes. Because she's a neglectful owner. Yeah, and then her mum murders her pet. Well, her mum does what any sensible parent would do and unplugs the bath. Yeah, that's true. And the bath water drains out and the polywog goes down the drain. Yeah. Accidentally, because it's a tiny thing. Yeah. And she doesn't True. see it. Yeah. And then also Mona's washcloth, which is huge. Mm. And I don't know how you didn't and see it. And ugly. It's orange. She's got bats on it. She's a vampire. She's a vampire. Have some respect. Okay, sorry. <laughs> respect her culture. Okay. It's very neglectful. And then the polywog goes down the drain. And that's, that's the end of the flashback. Yeah. And then they're all about like, oh, well, the, 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 the drains aren't working. The pipes are broken. <laughs> Better sell our house. <laughs> It's uh, the worst. But the dad is the dad is milk toast. Milky toast. Milky toast. The dad is the milkiest toast. He's yeah. got he's got bags on his eyes drawn under them. Yeah. It's so bad and he's just weak and he's like, Oh, mm. the plumbing's gonna cost this much. And it looked like it was like twenty five dollars. Yeah, roughly. And he was like, Gotta sell the house. Yeah. And then Mona comes in, he's like, No, stop! Um th- it's the creature from the drain and her parents are like Okay, Mona, shut up. She's like, you can't move me out of this house. Vampires can't leave their native soil. <laughs> and again, the parents are like, yeah, all right. Okay, sh- sure. Shut up. And she's like, please, don't sell the house until tomorrow. I was like, you don't know about the housing market, Mona. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I've been trying to move house and they make it difficult. Get yourself on purple bricks, Mona. <laughs> Save yourself from commissary. <laughs> commissary? We're not sponsored by purple bricks. No. Um, though we could be if they wanted to. Please. Please. Um... Yeah, and then they're like, Mona's like, well, I'm going to get into the bottom of this and we're going to not have to sell the house and all the other such things. Yeah. There is a plot there. There is. It's doing better than my parents are aliens. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, luckily. The bar is the floor, but, you know, <laughs> Mona the Vampire leapt gracefully over it. Luckily, this bootleg showed the whole episode. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> true. In the aspect ratio it was intended for. <laughs> um, yeah, and they have a bit of a chat about that. Oh, and then they go to the bathroom. Her, Princess Giant, and Zapman. Yes. And basically what ensues is the plot of Ant-Man. I've never seen Ant-Man. Oh, there's a whole scene in Ant-Man small? where he's small in the bathroom and he falls down the drain. Oh. It's a great film. Yeah, I've heard it's good. It's got Paul Rudd in it. Who's that? Paul Rudd! <laughs> yeah, I, I don't he's know He's from people. Clueless. He's the stepbrother. Never seen Clueless. Oh, oh my. No. Sorry. <laughs> he, well, he's the stepbrother that she, she fucks him. Um, what? It's a Jane Austen book, it's fine. Okay. Um, what else is Paul Rudd in? He's in Friends. Is he the one who hasn't aged? Yes. Oh, I know who you mean. Yes. I mean, he's in Friends with Clueless and that's all I, I know. only know actors if there's a meme about them. Fair. Yeah. That's fair. I don't have time the to The only actor about. I know is Peppa Pig. All actresses look the same. Oh no, we're on this oh, again. No. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of The Guilty Feminist. <laughs> <laughs> Anne Hathaway and two others look exactly the Zoe same. Zoe Deschanel oh. and... Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Mm. They look the same. Have you seen Zoe Deschanel without glasses and a bangs? No, does she... She what? looks absolutely different. Really? Madness. Fascinating. Mm. Anyway, back to Mona. Back to Mona. Uh, they go down the drain. They disappear down the drain. They sh- well, well, they imagine that they're shrinking themselves down the drain. We know it's an imaginary thing because there's a ripple and it goes... Yeah. And it's in a slightly different hue. Mm. Uh, and they imagine they're going down the drain. Yeah. And then they go down the drain, have a wander around, mm-hmm. meet Polly. Oh, Lily is in fucking heels. We stand. We stand a uh, heels Lily legend. A queer icon. I was about to say. I, 
I don't... Well, she's not because on the level of Tony Gardner and Justy Littlewood and Raven. No. There are two people who would go into a drain in heels, and they are a queer icon or a woman on a hen If she's on a hen it's fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> Her, <laughs> Mode of the Vampire, and Zap Man. <laughs> and a big frog. A big slash frog. a regular frog. <laughs> so, they're down the drain, and they meet the frog. The frog, I don't know if it's intentionally got the same voice as Kermit the frog. But it's like, hello, that? Mona. Oh, yeah. I, that's probably a reference. Mm. No, I don't know. Well, yeah. Not oh, afraid to also, reference. They also give... Or not reference. <laughs> um, they, they go on about, you're a human-frog hybrid. And I'm like, well, it's certainly speaking. <laughs> and then it's like, you gave me meatloaf. And that's the end of that. <laughs> I love when we were watching it. Caitlin just went, meatloaf? Have you heard of meatloaf? Real dead ringer for love. Well, you took the words right out of my mouth there, <laughs> Oh, I wish I'd seen that out of Hell the Musical. It's the worst thing I've ever seen in my Have you seen life. It? Yeah! Oh my god, I fucking love Meatloaf. It's. it's... What's your favourite Meatloaf song? I mean, probably. Oh no, Bat Out of Hell. I mean, it's a classic. Okay. I like um, I Do Anything for Love, but I Won't Do That. Oh, that was very good. The song because about it had the. Ooh. Very good. Thank you. Um, It had the one good singer in it, that one. <gasps> the woman. The random yes, woman. Yes, the woman. Would you hold me down with holy water if I get too hot, hot? Yeah, that one. I like. um. Uh, took the words right out of my mouth because you know the beginning bit there's like a duologue yes on a hot summer night <laughs> would you offer your throat to the wolf of the red roses will let, he offer me his mouth it's it let me tell you about the start of Battle of Hell we Please may do. cut this we may not we will not um, so it starts off and like you're just sitting there with the lights on waiting for it to start yeah. and people are crawling over the stage to make it immersive like cats. I imagine uh, sure and there's this guy who's got his big bike and he's doing mechanics and shit. Mm. And it is very, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. So like, who is this man? Mysterious. And there's a microphone in the middle. And then uh, the lights flash and he does like a pirouette and jumps in front of the mic and delivers a 10 minute monologue about how he killed his mum with a guitar. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it like uh, Peter Pan? Uh, uh, yeah, well, in that there are, like, kids who won't grow up, yes. It's about, yeah. I w- we were sent a text that said, um, uh, from a friend that said, let me know the first moment you say, oh my god, out loud. <laughs> and it was within ten seconds. We went, <laughs> oh my god. It wasn't like, oh my god, it was, oh, I oh love my that. god. I wish yeah. I'd seen it. I'm so sad I missed it. <sighs> anyway, Men of the Vampire, big Men frog man. He's, a, he's now a human frog hybrid because he ate human food, yeah. such as carrots. And meatloaf. Carrots famously not eaten by any other animal, except for humans. <laughs> and peas. And pe- well, peas. Peas are human food. Peas are human food. Do any animals eat peas? Oh, you can have dried peas in like a food mix for like a gerbil. Sure. Guinea pig. I'm sure lots of animals would eat peas. I'd eat peas. <gasps> I fucking love peas. Peas are great. I love mushy peas. Oh, mushy peas. Mushy peas are the best. And if you yeah. don't like mushy peas, um, <sighs> unsubscribe. Yeah. No, don't. Please don't. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> So they have a chat with the frog, and the frog's like, I've been stuck down here for nine years. Yeah. Well, you weren't trying hard enough. He calls Mona his owner, and I'm like, we've kind of moved past that. Humans are no longer the centre of the universe. Owner the vampire. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. And he's like, I can't get out because the drain is stuck Mm -hmm. from this... Because of all the hair! (laughs) Because of this washcloth that's been here for nine years. He's about the size of the washcloth he could pull it out. Also, nine years. Yeah. That washcloth probably is decomposed. Mm -hmm. Also, how have they not had water backed up their whole sink for nine years? I don't know. And then Lily's like, don't wash your face with it, Mona. And I'm like, I literally like slightly, I I gagged. You did. Don't want to sound gay, but like, I gagged. (laughs) I failed at not sounding gay. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, Yeah, and then basically they go back up. Yeah. And they get big. And they're like, and the washcloth. there's a washcloth there. Gets but how does she know that it's the washcloth? Because she's just had a delusion. Well, I think in the memory where the tadpole goes down, there was definitely the washcloth. She'd repress the memory of the washcloth. Yeah. Wait, does she say to her, to the plumber, there's a washcloth? Yeah. I feel like he could, he could work that out. Himself. He probably should have worked that out. It wasn't yeah. far down the pipe. He just wanders in and out with He just wants money. Abandon. He just wants people to sell their houses. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. So he pulls the washcloth out and everything everything goes yeah. down and that's and the that's, end of that's that that's the end of that it, it, and then based on that we decided to watch a second episode why did we do that 
That was your idea. Yeah. I was ready to stop. It's because it was 15 minutes. They were, they were short episodes. Yeah. Um, this one's called Mona and the Werewolf. It opens with her putting jam on bolognese. <laughs> well, she calls it like zombie... Dragon snot. Dragon, no, something like that. Something, like that. something <laughs> Harry Potter and weird. Yeah. And um, her dad is pulling a brilliant prank. Her dad is hell. It's such a card, is the dad. <laughs> no, the dad is the milk. Dad's creamy toast. Creamy toast. <laughs> creamy <laughs> toast vampire dad. And he's, he comes in with a werewolf mask. And it's like, oh, and she's like, hi, dad. Yeah. It's, and you're like, we knew it's his dad, because he wears that same jumper. Yeah. <sighs> Such a straight, he's not a queer icon, fuck me. He's not a queer icon He shops all. in Next. <laughs> queer icons can shop in Next. No, they can't. Ariana Grande shops in Next. <laughs> no, she does not. Ask Ariana Grande where she got her nice top. She'll say, thank you, Next. Oh, you're coming out with all the jokes Stop today. Stop that from a tweet, but like. Oh, right. That's fine. And then they're like, we knew you weren't a werewolf. And yes. the dad's like, how did you know? And the mum's like, a real werewolf would have wiped his feet. And it's like, no, werewolves don't exist, mum. I mean, also they don't have shoes. Also, well, yes, famously, no yeah. shoes. Pad a shoe. Also, wait, in fact, that's not the point. Famously, quite rude, werewolves. Quite rude, werewolves. <laughs> they would like, eat shit. You would know that it wasn't a werewolf because your head was still attached to your shoulders. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so then he... They have an explanation as to what a werewolf is. The dad explains it. Which I think Mona would know. Yeah, she's a vampire. Yeah. Um, and the dad's like, a werewolf grows ha- hair out of their hands and out of their face and everything's horrible and their family hates them. Anyway, gonna leave this mask on your bedroom table. <laughs> he says, um, all the other animals hate you and you can only find peace by destroying things. And I was like, it's a metaphor for toxic masculinity. <laughs> yes. So Werewolves hate silver as well. Yeah, that becomes key for the plot. Men don't like trinkets? Yeah, I guess they I don't. don't. Bling? Do they not? Fashion. Some men do. Some men do like a necklace. Yeah. Which I think is nice. Yeah, it's good for them. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, and then he's like, night, gonna leave this mask here. Yeah. Just puts the werewolf mask on her chair. Yeah. And it's like, night. And she and has. She, she has a dream that yeah. she... <laughs> She has a dream she goes downstairs in the morning. <laughs> and, uh, the iconic parents, line! Her parents are both werewolves. And um, it's assumed that she's a werewolf too. Yes. And the mum turns around and says, oh, no. Did you remember to comb your face? <laughs> it's incredible. Also followed by an equally brilliant line because she gets up, looks down the street, a deserted street, and goes... Looks like there's a werewolf in town. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, Mona. It's a deserted street. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with the street either. Oh, God. And then she goes to school the next day, and she's like, werewolf prints, and it's literally just blobs of circular yeah. mud. And, and all the kids are like, there's something going on. Something dug up our flower beds. And I'm like, that's a fox, love. <laughs> that's a fox. I love a fox. There's a fox near me comes around and like really it's just sometimes I, I'm, when I'm home from work late mm-hmm. I go in my garden and there's just a fox sitting there just looking at me I remember I came once late here and, and I saw a fox it was mm-hmm. a great time I saw a cub the other day <gasps> great that time that was cute it was real cute oh I heard a fun thing about foxes oh, is yeah. that you know when they scream they're fucking N- no oh that's what everyone thinks because Every- they have barbed penises well you would <laughs> scream no <laughs> scream not have a barbed penis I mean if you could <laughs> make it I fun accessorise <laughs> No, they're screaming because they want to fuck. Oh, same. <laughs> they just like ah! go around and scream. <laughs> Which is why I'm screaming constantly. <laughs> anyway, they've had a they've had a, a, a fox digging up gardens or whatever, yeah. and she's like, it's a werewolf. And they're a prince, and she follows the prince to the principal's. Pr- principal office. Shabli. 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 Yeah. Something like that. Mr. Principal. <laughs> and... <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know where that came from. Uh, and, I'm a bit tired. And the principal, has, <laughs> the principal does have, like, whiskers. Yeah. But, like, that's just a bit of facial hair. You just need to shave, it's fine. And she's like, well, that's, that's it and then. And again, I think the principal is worn down by her shit. Because oh, she says, be. I know you're a werewolf. And he's like, yeah, all right. <laughs> Whatever you Fuck say about her. She's bold. She is bold. And then a bit later they find him in the boiler room and they're like, you're a vampire! And he's like, you kids can't be here. And it's like, he's having a wank. <laughs> Why else is he down there? 
And then Lily is like, let's shoot him. <laughs> and then she's like, we can't do that. What about the RSPCA? Yeah, I would have loved it if she was like, ooh, silver bullets. And they went, yes, bang, you know, <laughs> dead teacher. I would love one of these stories to get ridiculously out of hand. <laughs> well, well the live action with... mode of the vampire movie that we're going to make. <laughs> <laughs> We've had the Raven one. They've done a Dora the Explorer. Have they? They have. Why? I've no idea. Okay. Money. Uh, but we're gonna do, we could do Murder the Vampire. We could. Who would you have play Mona? Uh, I don't know. Christian Stewart? <gasps> that would be a different vibe. I'm ready for that. Yeah. That would make her a queer icon. It would. Mm. Her hair is great. Mona's? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's bad, but it's great. It's bad. Um, it's like Tracy Beaker's. It's like Uzo Aduba's in um, oh, sure. Orange is the New Black. Sure, yeah. But yeah, that's, mm. that's what I thought. Mm. But crucially, Mona is white. She's and she's problematic. She's so white. She's so white. <laughs> Why should the me saying prawn cocktail crisps are spicy? <laughs> Fucking hell. I can't believe I said that on a podcast. I fully can believe you said that. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then they go and have... Oh, and then Mona says, terrific. Did she? She said, terrific. Oh, it was in scary good. I think it was just a pun on, ter- on terrific. But as in, ah, terror. I think that she's like, I'm gothy, ha ha ha. Oh, I see. I used to say everything is like a bit gothy. She's going to discover Tumblr in like five years. Oh, she is. Then she'll stop all this nonsense and just get sad. <laughs> it's not what we all to do. both of us. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and then she, that's what kids with stupid imaginations do. Yes. Get a Tumblr, get sad. <laughs> that should be their like, tagline. Get a Tumblr, get sad. We cut to uh, a later scene at night time. Mm-hmm. She's got a cape on. She's got her hair up. Mm-hmm. And her mum's like, where are you off to, Mona? She's like, going hunting. <laughs> mum's like, okay, don't yeah. be late. Yeah. Great time. Yeah, they go and stalk the head teacher. They do. Or, as they imagine, the werewolf. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. And they're like, well, we need, to, we need some bait. Um, Lily, Princess Giant, you're the bait. Mm-hmm. And she's like, fuck that. And she's like, well, princesses are always the bait. That's for dragons. It works for werewolves, too. That's that sexist. sexist. She says, that's sexist. And then they're like, hmm. And then they just like, it, the camera pads to <laughs> Zap Man. And they're like, Zap Man it is. Yeah. And Mona says, this is interesting. Mona says, well, it is the 21st century after all. But here's a bucket load of tea for you, Caitlin. When was it made? This was first aired December 27th. <gasps> 1999. Oh my god! What the writers? Also, does that make it a Christmas special? Maybe. December the what? 27th. Oh. It's Boxing Day special. Boxing, yeah. It's not very festive. No, yeah. But we'll take it. Yeah. We'll take what we can get. We were three when this came out. <sighs> were we? I feel like I remember watching. Oh, it was on all the time. Okay, right. Good. It was on all the time. Mm. Um, and they're only short episodes, so you can like pat them out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tell you what, Mona's a liability. If that wasn't clear already, she's a complete liability. Because they tie your boy to the tree. <laughs> and then and then the werewolf comes. And then the, the cat jumps in. What's the cat's name? Fang. Fang. Is that right? Yeah, I think it is. Grab your cat. Grab your cape. <laughs> he jumps in. Saves the day a bit. And she runs up. And unties him, and he's like, "Where's the zap blaster?" And she's like, "Oh, I think I dropped it." That is the crucial part of your yeah. plan is to zap the. Not werewolf. even. Oh damn! I dropped it. I think I dropped <laughs> well, it. Well, it's not in your hands, babe. Yeah. Either you dropped it or you set it down somewhere. The crucial thing is, it's not in your hands. And the plan involved you zapping the werewolf. <sighs> she did not. And then... I think we're oh. getting too angry. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, there must oh, be another way. This. There's another way that we could get here. Oh. Werewolves hate silver, but we haven't got any silver. Hang about, says that man. I've, I've got, got a chocolate bar. I've got a chocolate bar. <laughs> like, I know Freddo's have gone up in price, but no chocolate bar has silver on it. No. And they're like, this is the silver foil. I'm like, yes, it's called silver foil because it is the colour of silver. It has not got actual silver in it. So she wads up in a ball, throws it at the werewolf. Mm-hmm. It does go down his throat. Yeah, he oh. chokes. Oi. Oh, speaking of that, sorry, just to go back mm-hmm. to the start of the first episode. Mm-hmm. Speaking of innuendos, yeah. there was a line. <laughs> oh, I remember. 
If it's so huge, how did it get down your drain? Very good. <laughs> Amusing. We both chuckled. <laughs> we did. Anyway, yeah. what a tinfoil in his throat. He chokes. He falls over. Yeah. And then we cut away, back to real we? life. Yeah. Um, and then... And it's a dog. Yeah, the, the teacher... The, a dog runs up. And the, t- the head teacher runs after it. And he's like, I've oh, got a sorry. dog. Oh, sorry, they were in the woods because the head teacher was talking to another teacher and is like, oh, one more stint in the woods should do it, Osman. And Caitlin immediately said, dogging. Because <laughs> I'm Which, funny. Which, it turns out, not entirely inaccurate. No. Because there was a dog. There was a dog. In the no woods. bumming. Well, don't know. Maybe. There's always time for, for a, a bumming. <laughs> Also, the dog's name is Flopsy, and they're like, Flopsy? And I'm like, yeah, because it's clearly a rabbit's name. (laughs) Beatrix Potter, done fucked up (laughs) rabbit names. Um, And he's like, oh, I was keeping this a secret from my wife. And I immediately went, your wife? Mm. Because he might only have whiskers, but that wife's a beard. (laughs) What straight man calls a dog Flopsy? I know. I was like, consult your wife on that awful name. Also, consult your wife on getting a dog. Yes. That's it's a life RSPCA decision. about that. A dog is for life, not just for your beard wife. You can't just surprise a woman with a life choice. <laughs> I know they try to be progressive, but like... It's the 21st century after all. Yeah. Um, and then he's like, yeah, this is my wife. No, this is my dog for my wife. <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, ha ha ha, lol. Still think you're a werewolf. Yeah. And he again is like, oh, all right, Mona. Here's a nice little girl <laughs> and the credits all roll. Show, Show us your fangs. Show us your fangs. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, vampire girl, get your fangs out. Get your fangs out. Get your fangs out. Get your fangs out for the lads. Uh, crucially, asking the question that we're here to answer. Um, did this make us queer? It's a romp, but I don't, it's I'm not romp, sure. But she does have a cape. <laughs> she does, and as we know, that is the rule. Um, I wonder if her nonsense shenanigans influenced me in some way. I think it's an interesting concept of a television show to it, show that children's flights of fancy and imagination are not letdown. valid. Yeah, it's a real letdown. <laughs> and it's, it's like, well, you, I know you've got these, these wild imaginations. You're being created a little child, but it's just a washcloth down a drain. Yeah. There's no creature. It's just a dog. There's no werewolf. It's very upsetting. Your fantasies are not valid. Yeah. Which I think is quite a sad message to send to children. It is. I think that's why I blocked it and assumed it was all real. To be fair, when this came out, everyone thought the world was going to end in the next five days. True. So I think Canadian (laughs) children's TV programming just went wild. (laughs) They were like, we've got nothing to lose. (laughs) (laughs) Let's tell children they're stupid. Yeah. Uh, Basically, um, I don't know about... Queer representation. No. Um, but is it camp? I don't... See, I don't know. Because, like, normally, like, a horror film, like a Hammer horror film... Yeah. Or, like, a classic one, that's, like, got elements of camp in it. Yeah. Like, Creature from the Black Lagoon itself mm-hmm. has camp elements. Bride yeah. of Frankenstein, yeah. Dra- Nosferatu, all of the classical horror films. Also, oh, well, there's a load of theory about, like, vampires and stuff being, like, queer-coded. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There's... But now we're reaching. We are reaching. Well, well, what I mean is they've are you not doing displayed. Because an... <laughs> you're I'm reaching. reaching. <laughs> <laughs> Am I S Club Seven? Because I'm reaching. Lovely. For the stars. Um, and it's not, none of that's kind of portrayed. No. Even like the inherent campness of a horror film. Yeah, it's not really there. It's not there, the spookiness. I mean, obviously, mm. Principal Chablis is gay. <laughs> yes, um, clearly. Closeted. He's not an icon. Uh, no, he's, he's just not. there. Zap Man is not queer. No. He's milky toast. Like Lily. Lily is probably the best shot we have at a mm-hmm. queer icon. Yeah. But that's purely because, because she wears heels. And that she's a bit done with it. <laughs> and she wear, she does wear a crown. Yes. She's called Princess Giant, so she's, she's almost a queen. The flamboyant friend who's following around her straight friend, and is done with it all. That's fair. She's gonna stop talking to them when she goes to uni. Oh sure. Yeah. She's going to kiss some girls when she goes to uni. Oh, well. she is. I think Mona will, but she won't, she won't tell stick you. with it. Or she'll tell everyone and then get embarrassed and stop. And, and then, then put on a Tumblr. Yeah. Yeah. I think we've called it. <laughs> <laughs> so all in all, a, a somewhat disappointing trip down memory lane. A little bit. But that's fine. 
It's all right. Sometimes looking into your past can bring up demons and, yeah. s- and sadness and shame. And it's good to know that the uh, average TV shows aren't queer. Queer excellence. Well, yes. It makes the diamonds like Tracy Beaker and Raven shine mm-hmm. even brighter. Yes. I think that's brought us to the end of Men yeah. of the Vampire. I think it has. Um, I think uh, while listeners are still here, if you're still here, <laughs> listeners, uh, do please give us a follow on social media. I'm at Kate Butch One on everything. And I'm at Caitlin L. Powell at, uh, on Instagram and on Twitter. I'm Caitlin PWLL. P-W-L-L. If I can find a more convenient way of saying that, that would be wonderful. But I, I can't, mean, it's been know. five weeks. Why don't you just sync up your usernames? Oh, I could. Love yourself. I will. Um, also, please do uh, rate our podcast. Yeah. Subscribe, share it, leave mm-hmm. us a cheeky review. Uh, anyone that you know who might like listening to us talk about all CBBC shows <laughs> and eating food, yeah. uh, tell them about it. Lazy queers. We want the lazy queers. The laziest queers. And yeah. the chances are, if you're listening to this, you are a lazy queer. Be proud. S- hashtag lazy queers. Live your truth. Yeah. Shall we end this on a, on a Monster Munch? End on a Monster Munch. Rub your munches. Rub your munches. Show us your fangs. Cheers to Monster Munch.